Shut up and sit down. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Just taking a quick ride here uh, before I tear the bike down and install my new bars. Uh, reason for today's ride good friend of mine Scott Zauer uh, buddy I was stationed with in the military uh, stationed in Germany deployed to Iraq uh, he's a good guy great guy uh, he lost the war at home uh, he had taken his life back in 2011 uh, about a year and a half after we'd gotten out of the military left about a week week and a half apart from one another uh, so, May 13th every year is a special day. Not really special in a good way, unfortunately. Um, Memorial Day is, is more than just once a year for a lot of us. I guess the, uh, the saying that I've heard, uh, which is true, you know. Guys like that, guys that I spend years with. Going through some shit, or some uh, some real brothers. Those are real family. And, uh, losing them, losing losing people in war is one thing. But losing people to a war within, to uh, something you don't see, is pretty rough. You know, it hits home a little bit different. Uh, so I just figured to take a little cruise before. Well, the weather was nice. And uh, before I start turning the bike here, um, this is one of my usual routes here. Um, kind of head this way, takes you up out of town, kind of into some hills, some back roads, some some nice windy stuff. Um, weather was nice, roads were dry, the conditions were good. Um, all in all, everything was good. It was a nice day. So you start to uh, notice a pattern here in, in some of the roads that I like to ride. Um, I like to take these quiet back roads, um, nice windy, just, I don't know, kind of technical, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, I enjoy having a ride rather than just sitting on the bike and going straight. You know, I want to ride the bike. Uh, Pennsylvania is a little bit sketchy of a place on some of those roads to do some of that stuff. Uh, road conditions can be pretty rough sometimes. Road, the roads themselves, um, not only with washout and mud and rain, um, but just the potholes, the unevenness. Um, you get lines and grooves going going down the road that will really screw you up in a curve. Um, <clears throat> regardless of that, still love these back roads. You just got to take it easy. Um, kind of go into your corners a little bit slower. Um, you know, just like you, just like you see, if you don't if you don't know the curve, don't go into it crazy. Come out of it crazy. It's fine. Don't go into it crazy. You don't know it's around that bend. Um, out here it can be farm equipment. It can be other cars. It can be deer. Uh, and that'll happen whether you're speeding, whether you're, you know, doing the speed limit. It doesn't matter. So, just try and try and keep that in mind when I hit some of these roads. Uh, there's a lot of construction, as you'll see. The reason I found this one day, I realized that uh, I realized that this road was closed. Uh, I'm driving back to work and to go and to go some place for work. Uh, found out this road was closed, and ended up on this cut through this detour, which was a pretty nice find.
And here we go. It's especially nice on these roads when traffic's limited. You know, you get stuck behind people at times. So, you know, you find old guys that are crossing the street completely unaware that a motorcycle is coming down the road or any vehicle for that matter. So you can see along the roads here, a lot of them are, a lot of them are broken up in pretty rough shape. Uh, you just gotta keep that in mind. Uh, be ready for that bike to wiggle around on you a little bit sometimes. Uh, shit happens. <clears throat> At some point, I'm gonna be getting my YZF 600 uh, rebuilt, so I can start ripping that thing around. Uh, I really do like the way this Triumph Speedmaster handles. Uh, it rips through these corners pretty well. Uh, not doing anything crazy. I'm doing about 60, 65 here through these roads. Uh, just a nice, fast-paced cruise. We're going to have to see how all of that handles once I have some new bars on there. Usually ridden bikes with bigger bars. This is the first low kind of drag bar that I've ridden. Um, other than my sport bike, but as far as a cruiser is concerned. Uh, so it, it should, should fare pretty well. The one thing, the one thing that I do know I need on this bike is to adjust the rear seat. Um, the rear seat, excuse me, the seat rearward and down. Um, there's an aftermarket seat, about four hundo to get that moves you back two and three quarters of an inch. Um, since I'm six two, it's it's pretty difficult to uh, find really anything that fits me. So. I'll just have to find something to make it work. Uh, this is the stock seat that's on here. It's not terrible, um, but the placement kind of has me forward on the bike more than I'd like to be. Pennsylvania does have some beautiful scenery, though. I'll give you that for, uh, for the roads that are out here, the rides. Man, it's gorgeous. Uh, honestly, a day like today, couldn't ask for anything better. Sunshine and clouds are there, but it's not like a typical Pittsburgh overcast day. Been good riding again. Uh, took a long break while you know being a dad and taking care of my girls and you know life. But like I said I just picked up this bike. Well, actually, I put about 1,200 miles on it since I picked it up in April, um, and I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, done some little things, basic maintenance stuff, but. Placed, just did a bunch of things to it. Um, actually, you can be my next video here. I don't spoil anything for you guys. You'll have to tune in to uh, see what I did to that. We were just ripping along, enjoying some of these nice, nice curvy roads out here. This is coming up to a uh, regular park here. That me and my girls go to. I don't know if they're getting in here. It's pretty quiet. I like it.
but this is about it for this ride. Um, if you're just tuning in, thanks for thanks for coming along for the ride. Thanks for sticking in there while I work out these technical difficulties and you know work through building up this page, this channel, and giving you guys some better content. <clears throat> Feedback's always appreciated. Uh, if you can take some time, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and look forward to hearing from you guys later. Take care, ride safe. See you next time.